If you can plan all that, you're not crazy and then lie about it. And all the time she was lying about her grades and then tried to make this look like an intruder. And then when the cops get there, she falls back like she's in so much grief and shock. B.S. Stano. I totally agree. Uh, that's what the evidence showed. Uh, she actually got these poor administrators from this college. When they're speaking to Brenda, they heard her last words on earth. She said, hi, thank you for calling me back. And they hear these screams and thuds. They call back several times because they're concerned about Brenda. And after the attack, after they hear those thuds and that expelling of air, they call back and the phone is picked up. And what they hear is in the call and what they describe as the calmest voice I've ever heard. Hi, this is Brenda. It was Sydney pretending to be her mom in the middle of this attack. Dear Lord in heaven, what more can you tell me, Brian Stano, because I did not know that fact right there that you just said, that she had the wherewithal to pretend to be her mother. She absolutely did. She got on the phone and those administrators said, Sydney, this is you. This isn't Brenda. We know this is you. Click. The line goes dead. And what else we know based on the investigation is, and, and what the, the, the blood spatter uh, showed, she actually had the wherewithal, when she's told by her father the police are on their way, she goes outside the home. As her mom is laying there dead or dying in a pool of blood, she goes outside the home to the back of the house, breaks in the window from the outside, and her blood and Brenda's blood was later found on the outside of the home, on the, on the uh, aluminum siding. Uh, so she actually had the wherewithal to go outside the home, break in the window from the outside as if an intruder had broken in from the outside.